DRDO has unveiled its indigenous swarm loitering munition UAV, marking a significant advancement in modern military technology. This event, attended by military leaders and defense experts, highlights India's commitment to self-reliance in defense technology. DRDO is set to begin limited series production of the Astra MK2, a beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile, in the upcoming year. This initiative represents a significant advancement in India's indigenous weapons program. Indian Air Force is revitalizing its aging fleet by integrating the indigenous Rudram to Air to Surface missile into its Mirage 2000 fighters. This marks a significant enhancement in the aircraft's capabilities, especially as they approach the end of their service life. DRDO has successfully completed a significant static test for the K-5 submarine-launched ballistic missile program. This test, conducted on 12 September 2025 at the Advanced Center for Energetic Materials in Nashik, marks a critical advancement in India's strategic missile capabilities. Bharat Electronics Limited is spearheading the development of Project Kusha an ambitious initiative by DRDO aimed at enhancing India's air defense capabilities. This project encompasses the creation of three distinct radar variants and two specialized control and communication centers, representing a significant advancement in India's indigenous air defense architecture. Recent images from Russia have provided an unprecedented look at the Sukhoi Su-57 Felon stealth fighter, showcasing its internal weapons base for the first time. This revelation highlights the aircraft's potential for modern warfare, particularly in suppression of enemy air defenses operations. Tyson Group Marine Systems is set to enhance Indo-German defense relations by locally manufacturing the Sea Spider anti-torpedo in collaboration with an undisclosed Indian private sector company. This initiative aims to strengthen the Indian Navy's underwater capabilities in response to increasing submarine threats in the Indian Ocean region and aligns with India's Make in India initiative. Indian Air Force is set to enhance the capabilities of its Sukhoi Su-30 MKI fleet through a significant upgrade involving two indigenous electronic warfare suites, Yodha and Anidra. These advancements aim to improve self-protection and operational effectiveness against modern threats. Ministry of Defense has awarded Kalyani Strategic Systems Limited contracts exceeding rupees 2,500 million for the supply of underwater systems. This contract was signed on 10 November 2025, with a delivery deadline set for November 2026, adhering to fast track procurement norms. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is making significant strides in the Indo Russian aerospace sector by pursuing the licensed production of the Sukhoi Superjet 100 in India. This initiative a departure from the recent trends in regional jet development and aims to enhance the attractiveness of the aircraft for Indian airlines. A tragic explosion involving a white Hyundai i20 car occurred on Netaji Subhash Marg near the Red Fort in Delhi, resulting in the deaths of eight individuals, including the three occupants of the vehicle. The car had been parked outside the Sunheri Masjid for nearly two hours prior to the explosion.